Right then, here we are. Video for a really, really rare and exceptional car. Um, for the, those who are fans of these, this is, as I said in the advert, this is pretty much the holy grail of them. This is a Honda Accord 2.4 Type S manual. Um, that's rare in its own right. What is rarer still is the fact that this car has just done 55,000 miles from new. Has had one owner and it's been serviced i think it was 19 times and uh, we've just serviced it 18 of those are the honda main dealers uh, and it is in just astonishing condition finished in the best color of all um, the gray alloys half leather interior it's a car you only see in the flesh really in all the video hopefully it will do it justice but possibly not front of the car as you can see just beautiful condition lights lenses no cracks no condensation bumper incredibly clean likewise bonnet of the car again exceptionally clean i mean it is in ludicrously good condition coming down the offside oh sorry near side i mean panel work absolutely mirror smooth there front wing can't see any marks in there at all it's just a natural luster to the paintwork near side front alloy absolutely beautiful sorry slightly noisy car going by there um we've washed it we've not polished it i mean the paintwork is extraordinary it's also why it is you know for those who don't know the value of them it'll seem like a horribly expensive car um it isn't it's fun for the collector and someone who truly appreciates what an incredibly rare beast this is Coming around the back, parking sensors fitted to this particular car, colour coded to the rear bumper. Offside of the vehicle, driver's side, again, I mean, it's like looking in a mirror. And it even there's no, none of those little light marks you normally see on paintwork. Um, I mean, there will be something surely somewhere. Offside of the rear alloy, again, can't see any marks in there at all. The remaining panel work is just truly stunning. I mean, it is, if that was a three-year-old car, I would say it was in beautiful condition. The fact that it's nearly 20 years old, um, I took my hat off to the chap that owned that car. Coming to the boot area, massive boots on the car. And again, extraordinary condition back here. Coming to the back, half leather interior. Again, in truly amazing condition. Coming to the front of the passenger side, it just continues the theme, it just hardly looks as like it's ever been used. Finally coming to the driver's door card, again all in beautiful condition, football areas likewise, and the driver's seat, nearly 20 years old and hardly looks as though it's ever been sat on. So inside the car now with the engine running, so dashboard is illuminated as is always the case. The dashboard looks pretty much as though it's come straight off the production line. It is in beautiful condition, even the gear lever, the gear knob itself. Just can't see any obvious marks on there at all. Oh, gloriously simple dashboard it is. Dash as you can see there, 55,173 miles. No one who likes on the dashboard at all. But it is an extraordinary, extraordinary car. I keep saying that, do apologise. Finally, just to show you, owner's manual pack and lock and reel nut key, all here and present with the car. Right then, this is a quick road test video. And I have to say, one I have been absolutely desperately looking forward to doing. Um, this is for a Honda Accord 2.4 Type S, registered, uh, if I can read it, LD03 LWF. Um, with a mileage of just 55,163 miles. Um, as hopefully, if I've done it already, um, you know from the walk around video, um, astonishing car in every single way. Uh, ownership, history, everything about it. The point of the road test video is so we can feedback on any issues there might be that show up while test driving car, even on a biblically horrible day like today. Um, this will be, I have to say, a little bit of a love-in. Um, I'll try and rein in my enthusiasm to a degree, 
but it's going to be hard because I am passionate about these cars. Um, I'll do all my usual things, but it will be slightly longer video than normal because I want to sort of spend a bit more time talking about individual parts of the car. Um, for those who want to skip all of that and want to know if there are any issues, there's nothing. It literally drives like brand new. So you can switch off now, move on, come give us a call, whatever. For those that love these cars, um, I will start as always with the engine of the vehicle, which starts instantly and settles to an absolutely smooth, even idle. No warning lights on the dashboard at all, relating to the engine or any other part of the car. And temperature gauge is running at a third, and it's been running for nearly two hours now, so clearly up to full operating temperature. The engine. Um, I say it in the advert, and I mean it quite sincerely, I think this is one of the greatest four-cylinder engines ever produced. And there's a reason for that, because some engines have good elements to them, great elements to them, but not all. There's parts of them which might not be so good, it might be reliability, it might be performance, it might be economy, it might be the sound they make, uh, noise, whatever. We put this all together, this engine, it's an astonishing unit, absolutely astonishing. Because most people, when they think of VTEC engines, think of top end, you've got to rev them hard, they're not that flexible, there's no low down grunt to them. You can forget all that with this engine because it's got everything. Um, the first thing you're aware of straight away, as soon as you start the car, as soon as you pull away, as soon as you start to rev it, there is a mechanical sophistication to the engine note and it's, <laughs> it's power delivery. It's an astonishing engine. It pulls from low revs. It pulls all the way through, just gets stronger. The power crystallizes as it gets to the top of the rev range. It's perfect. On top of which, they have a reputation for being almost bulletproof reliable over massive mileages. Um, they you know, incredibly long lasting, but it's just a joyful engine to use day in, day out. It really, really is. Um, you know, it's a kind of a bit old school in a way, which I, I love because most manufacturers have gone to small capacity, low revving, um, turbocharged engines, which give it up kind of all or nothing. But this, oh, absolutely amazing. Engine then feeds through to clutch and gearbox. Clutch and car, absolutely perfect. My point, exactly where it's meant to be. And it's a lovely and smooth and it's actuation. Um, the gearbox, again, absolutely superb. Uh, you've got this lovely, again, old fashioned metal alloy gear knob on top, typical of Type R with a little red detailing in there for your gear change. Six speed, gear changes have that wonderful feeling of actuation to them it really is a sensational gearbox um, because it feels like it's going into the gear a gearbox below which it isn't of course it's cables to the gearbox but when you change gear they've obviously put a huge amount of effort into making it feel the way it does um, and it, it it's paid dividends because you know it's, it's one of the great gear changes really is um, it also feels absolutely as it would have done when it was new. It's, there's no uh, slop in it, there's no slack, nothing at all. In fact, the whole car has this most ridiculous feeling of just feeling... You know, it's such an awful cliche for the used car trade to say a car drives like new. Well, this one actually does. And that's all the more remarkable for, because regardless of its mileage it's done, its ownership and the history, it is still a 20-year-old design. And yet driving along this section of the road, which is notoriously pattery, uncomfortable, um, awful road surface, and it rides it with far more sophistication than virtually any modern car. Um, the whole car just feels so of this era almost, um, because it's so tight on the road, it's so sophisticated in the way it feels. Um, and there's no... There's no clonks, there's no rattles, there's no feeling of looseness, there's no vagueness to it. Um, you know, it feels as tight as a drum. The brakes, again, lovely powerful brake pedal on the car, there's no pulsing, there's no vibrations. 
It's a lovely quality of brake pedal as well. It's reassuring without being grabby. Um, you know, all the elements come together beautifully on the car. They really, really do. I normally talk about the chassis at this point. We're going to wait till a bit of a section of road further ahead to do that. Uh, I'll come to the interior next, which we've not cleaned yet and almost pointless because it is in stunning condition in here. Um, no squeaks, no rattles, beautifully, beautifully put together car and a joyful car to sit inside because it's just so simple. I mean, it's highly equipped for its age, but by modern standards, it's a car you just get in, you press a button, you twist a knob, it does what you want and you concentrate on your driving. Couldn't be better. Perfect driving position, pedal straight ahead, steering wheel straight ahead, no silly offset driving positions with this car. Um, so again, you feel part of the vehicle, great seats, really supportive, half leather, you don't slide around in them at all. Um, and it's just, as I said, a, in amazing condition. It, it's, it's why we say in the walk around video and you know, in the, the advert that you know, this isn't gonna be for someone trying to find a nice cheap Accord to run around in, because it isn't. It's an expensive Accord, because it was, I had to pay a lot of money for the car, but I was happy to. Uh, if, and if someone doesn't want to, that's fine. We say we've got no ax to grind at all, you know. Um, but hopefully it'll save people to phone me up saying, oh, why is it so expensive? Because it is, it's one owner, it's got the history it's got, and it drives as well as it does. I actually think it's cheap, actually, because you're really buying a 30, 40,000 pound car, um, which is next to no work at all. But the, you know, I, the engine is astonishing, the gearbox is astonishing, the interior is amazing in terms of how it feels, how it's aged, and the ownership. But the best part for me has always been with this car, the chassis. Um, and again, completely missed by the motoring press, in all honesty. The steering is old school uh, power steering. Not, it's not the electric power steering of the later cars. It feels absolutely perfect. The weighting, um, the gearing on it, as I said, I mean, it really is. I'll just wait for this car to come through pedestrian pace um, quite often people get in and they can't quite work out what I'm on about and, and I get that because we get in it it just feels almost slow the steering uh, chassis feels okay nothing great but then you start to the subtleties start to kick in the quicker you go with the car the more responsive it gets the steering comes more alive but the slight slowness initially gives you the security when you're going at speed. There's no nervousness to it at all. It has a beautiful, beautiful feel to the steering. It, and you can feel, that's the difference between this and electric power steering cars. It's got genuine feel. When you start to brake grip on the front end or the rear end, you will feel it through your, uh, through, through your hands, through your bum. But it's a car that rewards. Going down this road again, it's a horrible off camber, yumpy, bumpy kind of road. Go to this corner a bit quicker than normal, turn in, you can feel it start to lose a tiny bit of the front end. It's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it said it manages to do that and still ride way, way, way better than virtually any other car I've ever driven down this road. Uh, it's an astonishing chassis. And I said, it's one that they probably couldn't build anymore. It's probably too expensive to them to manufacture it. It's a shame that modern cars have gone to, you know, super low profile tires, super rigid dampers on them. They're pattery, they're hard, they're unyielding. This, you can just drive it hundreds of thousands of miles comfortably. And when you're in the mood, it rewards brilliantly. And that's why I think it's one of the greatest Q cars, actually. It goes unnoticed. And, but, the, it's a happy band of people like me out there sadly perhaps you might say but genuinely who appreciate this for what it is it, you know it was miles better the competitors competitors of its times would have been like 323 BMWs you'd have had Mondeo ST24 um, the Vectra whatever it was Volvos Audis and none of them, not one of them, has stood the test of time as well as this. Um, because most of them, 
you know, they, they were troublesome after a few years. They, you know, they, they, they people didn't cherish them as people tended to cherish these. And yeah, so that's 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 the video. Um, as I say, I apologise because it is a bit of a loving. I, I I genuinely love this car. Absolutely love it. And if I had space, and I collect classic Hondas, I would put this in my classic collection. And if I get space, it will go into my classic collection because it is that special.